In this video, we will provide training on how to use Screaming Frog in order to conduct internal linking analysis and quickly find opportunities from other pages on the website to link back to the target page. So in this particular example, we'll be looking at Love Your Shoes. And if we look at the sitemap, I'll just go to page sitemap here and uh, we'll select uh, this page, the Ag Boot cleaning page. So we're gonna be conducting analysis on this website and specifically on this Ugboot cleaning page to find out how many internal link links are coming into this page currently as well as to find opportunities on other pages of how we can quickly inject internal links that are going to point back to this page and just to give you a quick summary of internal linking it is uh, probably one of the most important internal linking or on-page seo factors you can see internal linking gives google a sense of page level importance and here, if we look at this article by John Mueller in Search Engine Journal, very great interview. Uh, this is, uh, the article was about product pages or e-commerce stores, but it applies to everything. So if we read this, if you have really long, and this is what John Mueller says, if you have really long kind of blog posts that are ranking, the challenge there might be that it's very tempting to link to a lot of different products from there. And by linking to a lot of different products, you're kind of saying, well, everything is a little relevant, but nothing is really relevant. Whereas if you link to a few products from those pages, then you can really say these are really important products, right? So you want to make sure that you are prioritizing your money pages and linking to them more often than other pages. So let's jump uh, right in. Uh, we're going to take Love Your Shoes here and we're going to plug it into Screaming Frog. You can see I already put that in here, the URL, and I clicked uh, to start the crawl. The site has already been crawled. Uh, if, you, if you look here, you can see there's 15 pages. And um, if we come here, we can actually do a search uh, for Agboot cleaning page. So we can just copy it from here. Just click command copy and we can add it in here and click search or you can just find it in here. So you can see that the page is right there, but I'll just click search. There's the page. And then down here in the bottom left, you just click in links. And this will give you a summary of all the internal links uh, pointing to this page. So you can see from which page it's pointing to. So it says it's, it's pointing from the home page to the Ugboot cleaning page, and then it gives you the anchor text here. So this is a great summary to quickly see all the links that you have coming to your page as well as the anchor text. So you wanna make sure that you have keywords in these anchor texts and that they're keyword rich. So for this particular example, I'll just open this page here and I'll click open from in browser. So that opens the from page or the page from where it's linking. And then we'll do a command F to search and we'll click learn more. So you can see here, if I hover over in the bottom left, it says that's the Agbu cleaning page. So that's the link. Um, and from an SEO perspective, this is not the best anchor text. So you want to change this to, for example, Agbu cleaning. Um, also a quick um, keyword can be, you can just turn this into a link pointing back to that Agbu cleaning page. Maybe change this and, and put shoe and Agbu repair in Toronto and link back. Now you can change the CSS or tell the designer to change the CSS so it doesn't look like a blue link but it can look the same like this, but it can be a, an actual link passing anchor text and link juice. Okay, so that's that's how you do an analysis. Now, um, the next step is how do you find other pages on the website where you can quickly link back to this page? So the way we do that is in Screaming Frog, you're gonna go to configuration, click custom and then click search. And you're gonna click add here. And we're gonna do uh, contains text, ug, boot, clean. Now here for HTML, we're going to change this because this will search the entire website, including the HTML code. This means images and whatever else um, has Agbu cleaning on it. But what we want to do is click content area. So this will only search the content on the website. And then we'll click OK. Now you're going to have to uh, rerun this, um, the, the screaming frog. So you can see I'm just running the crawl again because it's not going to be updated otherwise. I'm just going to pause it here quickly. Okay, so the crawl finished. And now what we can do is here in this drop down, we can click on custom search and it'll show us here. And you can see you can scroll down to that area in this, in this report as well. Here on the right hand side, you can see custom search, search contains. Um, but it's going to give you the three pages on the website that have the keyword Ugg boot cleaning or Ugg boot clean that we added here to the, to the custom search, right? 
Akbut clean. So if we click this page, for example, um, we can just click on it and then you can see the home page also has three occurrences. So I guess we can start off with the home page. I'll just click open in browser and we'll click uh, command F, Ag boot clean. And you can see it found uh, those occurrences. So right here, you have a perfect opportunity to link back to that page. So you would ask the, you would log into the back end and just add the link there or ask the developer to do this. Here, once again, you have another opportunity. Uh, here, we're already linking back to that page, right? You might wanna vary the anchor text because you already have UGG boot cleaning. So you might wanna change this to UGG boots cleaning or UGGs cleaning, something like that, right? And uh, there you have it. So that's how you quickly conduct internal linking analysis on a page and add additional internal links quickly within the content. If you can't find uh, existing content, then you're gonna, you might have to go into that content and inject additional content to be able to add that internal link. Um, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.